Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is in something slightly different to our usual software we do. It is a subtitling software called Aegisub and Aegisub is a free bit of software you can use on Mac and PC. Uh, I've stumbled upon this software recently whilst I was doing whilst I was searching for subtitle edit on a Mac which is not uh, feasible. Subtitle edit only works on a PC and it's industry standard so I needed to find something for an academic for work purposes um, to do subtitling on a Mac. Now this software works like I said on PC and on Mac. I've linked the download description, the download for it in the description below. So if you do want to use it for any subtitle things you are doing. Uh, it's very good to add subtitles to a video to a program uh, to a video that you want to upload to an academic purpose if you want to use it for youtube you can do but youtube has a really good engine where it has close captions uh, which picks up the subtitles automatically if you've got it enabled in your settings um, and you can use it for academic purposes obviously for students who are reading in different languages uh, and you can also use it canvas to upload to canvas but canvas has a built-in um, close captions as well which is really quite good but it is a bit funny when it picks up the wrong accent of the speaker so after that little ramble we're going to add a video to our uh, Aegis sub bit of software so there's two ways of doing this you can go to video open video and then you can select your video from where you got it saved or like I've got here my video on my desktop you just click and drag it into the bottom half of the software this little text section down here and it will load the file in so as you can see here we have the big large video section which is one of my previous videos I made for the channel uh, with the crosshairs in it and you also have the audio section up here which is the audio waveforms and those are pink and blue lines we can get into that a bit later and a little text section here where you can type and the subtitle section down here now the best thing about the software is I've shown you now how to insert a video. That's one of the major parts of the software, I hate to say. And then the other part is adding subtitles in. Now we've got a little subtitle time cursor down here and it is 0000, so that's the start of the video, to five seconds in. So you can add a text here by just making sure you highlight highlighted and clicking in the text box and we can put the word test and as you can see it is shown up right at the bottom down here just above my mouse so where that crosshair is is there now it's a bit small though and um, obviously we need to read our subtitles so it's a bit small if you click edit the edit box appears which is this one here where you can change the style the font the italics the bold underline colors etc and all sorts but we want to change the size so we're going to select 200 and press apply and as you can see in the background the test text has appeared in a massive format now it's usually really easy if you've got a audio transcript in a um, in layman's terms a word document with or a notepad with uh, the text at what time codes uh, when to insert it in so sometimes it's best to watch the video through and try and make scripts on when the text comes in. So at the moment we've got a default text style and a default end and start time written down here. So what we can do is if we want to get rid of that we can hit right click uh, and we can delete lines and that will remove the text line. So that's right click in the little text section down here and delete lines. If you want to add more lines in, that's pretty simple too. It's again, right click, insert after, right click, insert after. So that's obviously inserting after the little text field here. So that says now 00 to 05, and the next line comes in at 05 to 07, and the next one comes in at 07 to 09. Obviously, the title screen here has a title on it so you want to subtitle the title as well if it's in a different language but we'll go on to proper subtitling later on in the episode in our next couple of episodes 
So this is episode one where we've just inserted our video to recap. Uh, we've looked at the audio file up here and we've looked at adding text in. Our next video will show you all the little play functions uh, and adding some more little details in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.